Hi everybody, long time no see, not that long but long enough. Um, today I'm going to be making lime cooler soap. Now I've done this one before but it needed to be restocked for mm, maybe a week or so so I just thought I'd make a couple of loaves of this. Sorry, <laughs> trying to get my words out. <laughs> um, I'm a little tired today. Um, so we've had Easter bank holiday weekend where I stayed at home and just chilled out and had a break because it's been non-stop since the lockdown started in March. It's mail order has just been kicking off and it's fantastic for me because it means I'm continuously making money and I don't have to worry. But I've been so tired because it's just constant. Um, but saying that, it's been a lot more relaxed because there's nobody around and there's nobody in the alleyway. There's nobody coming in the shop and it's... Um, like old days were when I didn't have a shop to deal with and my mum was asking me the other day do you think you'll reopen and I said to be honest for a while I actually don't think I will for quite some time even when the lockdown starts to end I still feel a bit until this whole thing has gone I actually don't want to open the doors anyway and because mail order has always been the mainstay of the business it doesn't really matter like anyone local has been having deliver deliveries anyway from me so they can continue to do that I'd rather just stay closed for as long as it takes so it's just keeping me safe and customers safe well everybody's safe it's just keeping everyone safe so because I only have to come from home to here and get out of my car and see nobody it's you know my life is pretty safe that's just the way it goes and when I walk the dog in the morning I go where there's nobody I walk in quite remote areas so um, you know I'll keep myself safe but I'm just trying to stay as safe as possible for as long as possible and yeah that's it so it's been manic and it's been busy so I've taken a break I'm refreshed and no more fear no more panic I've managed to get, overcome all of those things by watching lots of Abraham Hicks and lots of um, the you are creators channel which I'll talk a little bit about in this video um, so yeah lime cooler it is so I'm just going to do two loaves and then I've got lots of soaps I need to make because it's all dwindling down and I there's lots of products I need to restock so I'll be trying to make a lot more videos for you so yeah let's go Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to let you know what I've just been watching. And um, it's an Abraham Hicks video. I just got my tablet here, and it is called Profound Message Abraham Hicks Profound Message on Global Pandemic. Finally, Abraham talks about coronavirus 2020, and it is on a channel called Manifest the Divine. And just listen to it, see what you think. Because I, I just, I'm a massive Abraham Hicks fan, as you know, and without Abraham Hicks at the moment, I think I might have gone quite insane throughout all of this, but it's something that has kept me on an even keel. It's kept me in touch with uh, my faith in the universe. It's something that has helped me to stay focused on what I really want out of my life, you know? and what I don't want. So yeah, have a look at that video. I'll try and leave a link to that one below because um, they're just helpful. It's just, I find them really helpful. So I'm just gonna stick them in this base. Okay, I'm gonna add my fragrance now because this one is very nice to work with. So I'm just going to make two loaves today because I'm just using up the fragrance that I have on hand. And then I'll have to reorder some more when I want to make it again. But as mentioned in previous videos, I'm trying to use up a load of fragrances so that I don't spend any money. <laughs> I've been doing really well and I've got so many to get through still. So, yep, absolutely no need to buy anything at all right now, which is really good. Just have that to put this in. So, I'm going to pour some off. I want some green. Okay, so I'm just going to put some in a jug and I'll fill this jug up. So I've just been busy lately packing orders and not really finding too much time to do anything else lately. 
Um, I've wanted to make videos, but you know, it's just. Use my spoon for my wipe. I wanted to come and make videos, but it's when there's loads of orders to get out the door, then I, I can't, you know. I've got to focus on the most important thing, which is getting those out. And then last week I was making some whipped soaps, which have nearly all gone again. I only just stuck them on just before the bank holiday for Easter. And yeah, nearly all gone again, so I've got to start again. So I've ordered a load of jars so that I can make some more. And I'm not stressing about it. It's like, you know, since everybody's kind of slowed up a bit, and I have too, you know, I'm still doing what I do, but I haven't, my output of work has not been any less. So I'm slowed up, but I'm still managing to make the same amount. It's just, it's really strange. It's like the whole uh, planet slowed up, you know, in a really strange way, because I'm still just as productive as I always was, but without this um, constant nagging kind of stress feeling in the background, you know? It's like, I think it's something about everybody being quiet and, you know, everything outside being quiet that is giving me a feeling, like, not just me, everybody, but giving me a feeling here of just no need to rush it's a, it's really really bizarre and really really lovely actually really lovely and one of the things that i hope might you know maybe able to uh, maintain that feeling when everything sort of gets back to normal if we can call anything normal anymore because i just you know who knows who really knows <laughs> it's just crazy crazy times but I've gone through my anxiety, I've gone through, you know, horrible thoughts and feelings and I've had to correct myself and get back in touch with myself and what I'm really all about to, you know, to convince myself that I'm okay <laughs> and not to be fearful, you know, that's the main thing, not to be fearful. Don't pay you at all to be frightened of anything in your life. I'm going to stick them in that wipe. Okay. So, moulds. Moulds, moulds, moulds. Pop that over there. So, lime cooler. Lime Lime Cooler. I just ran out of it maybe just over a week ago. I think the last bars sold. And that's since, I don't know if it was January or the end of February, I can't remember. But it's been a, in a minute. It's like when you make so much you forget that it's not actually that long ago, you know. It just feels like it is because batch after batch after batch just makes you feel like you haven't made something in a while, but actually I have. Okay, I'm going to pour in my green. So the green I use for this is um, pistachio mica from Mica Mama and then just a titanium white base. And I'm just going to do this well inside. So one of the things we've been doing, um, gardening more than anything really, because it's the easiest thing to do, isn't it, this time of year, because everything grows so quick. I've just done some salad leaves and I've got flowers coming up. I found some 
seeds, like wildflower seeds, out in a wildflower patch. So I've got some Love in a Mist and some cornflowers. Actually, no, not the cornflowers. Love in a Mist. I was looking for cornflowers and I couldn't find them. So I had to buy seeds of those. But Love in a Mist, I managed to find some for free. Just the seeds. So I did that. And they are coming up. So that's, it's nice. We've got some chilies and sunflowers and loads of tomatoes. Lots and lots of things actually. Matt's busy with what he wants to grow and then I'm more inclined to grow like herbs and food items. Although he does leeks every year because we get through leeks because we like to make lots of soups. So he's on the yeah leeks and we're going to start with some carrots and things like that. But yeah, salad leaves and herbs is my sort of thing. So I've done some basil and coriander. I've got some dill to do. But um, yeah, I like to grow the things that I buy lots of all year round. I'm always buying basil and I'm always buying coriander and it's, you know, it's not that cheap to buy in the supermarkets. It depends where you go. But um, it's nice to have it when you're growing it yourself, isn't it? So nobody knows at the moment in the UK when the lockdown will end. Um, there's lots of surmising and things like that. But I don't like to listen to any surmising so I don't listen to any of the news at the moment I've not had the news on in days and days because like I said in the previous video it does me no good to hear it at all and with all of the videos I watch to keep my sanity <laughs> every single one says turn off the news turn off the media they want you to be frightened I'm not sure they want you to be frightened but I'm <laughs> Chances are they probably do, but it's just a constant barrage of maybes and ifs and the numbers. It's just nothing is accurate because nobody really knows what the hell is going on. Numbers wise, you know, they put statistics up and do this and do that, but it's like they don't really know. The numbers are never really accurate, so it's just best just pay it no mind. Abide by the rules of your country and what they're telling you to do. And wait. Be patient and enjoy the peace while it lasts, because chances are it probably will go back to normal, you know. Certainly within the next couple of years, I can't see that anything dramatic will change but you never know you're wishful thinking you never know they might uh, you know governments and things might sort of think hang on a minute there is something more we could do for the environment there is something more we could do for the citizens of these countries but your guess is as good as mine <laughs> right i'm going to bring you in to do the top okay top to top Let me know what you've all been doing to occupy your time if you can't go to work right now. I mean, there's a lot of soap makers, so I'm guessing that a lot of you are continuing. And, you know, let me know what you're doing. My business hasn't really changed, to be quite frank. It's got, in fact, better because I've been quite frugal with my spending for ingredients and things like that. I've got the necessary things like the necessities then so coconut oil and my you know all the oils I use I've got all those in stock and I've just been sort of focusing on trying to be positive about everything and for the first time now this is crazy and you know this is nuts I've got a business overdraft that I have always had and for the majority of the time, I'm in that overdraft. And because I have nothing other than to think of my place in the world at the moment and what it means and what I want out of my life and that kind of thing. I've been studying Law of Attraction now, as you know, for mm, 
maybe two or three months and every single day I do daily affirmations when I walk the dog. Every single day without fail I say health affirmations and money affirmations and for the last, let me think, three weeks maybe, I have been completely out of my overdraft and orders just keep flooding in. So you can colour me crazy if you want but there's something to be said for being positive about your outlook on life and being positively aware and sure of what you want and asking the universe for it and I'm also reading the book Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks who is Abraham Hicks um, so yeah I've been studying in it and I've been saying it out loud and I've also been getting completely and utterly delusional saying delusional things and writing down delusional things kind of strange I you know you, you sort of listen to these videos and take things with a pinch of salt but when you start to put things into practice and you do as you're told from the lessons that they're trying to teach you then to see things manifest and change in your own life because of the things that you say is sometimes overwhelming and can it's, it makes me cry you know it makes me cry that I it's a path that I've waited 47 years to realize that this is a thing you know so you know my faith's always been there but this actual law of attraction is something that I would never have maybe searched for I don't know it just came, came to pop up into my pathway you know and then I've like continued on it started with a couple of videos out in the back room I was putting some shelves together and I just clicked on a video of Abraham Hicks and one led to the other to the other to the other and eventually it started to go into my head and then I got um, into another channel called You Are Creators who I've mentioned before a guy called Justin Perry and he's basically stating the same thing you know it's all about law of attraction and the things that he tells you it's his affirmations that I started to do and I wrote them into my phone into an app and I also wrote them into a book and then last night I started to write some really, really delusional affirmations into another book that I've got at home. And we shall see. We shall see where it leads. But you can't lose anything because if you've never had it, then you're not going to lose it. But if things start to manifest and start to happen for you because of law of attraction, then <laughs> I just want to spread it. Like, go for it. You've got nothing to lose by saying things that maybe aren't real right now, but if you start to believe them, then law of attraction can only reflect back to you that which you project out. So yeah, I'm living proof right now. <laughs> Things are only getting better. So yeah, I'll be back for the cut of this and we'll continue the little chatette. Ta-ta. Okay, time to cut. Run cooler. So I just went to Tesco's to the supermarket to see uh, if I could get in there to get a few things I needed like a ream of paper and some Pritt sticks for packaging my soaps and um, that's like glue sticks and there were people queuing again and I just can't do the queues so I usually wait till the end of the day to go anywhere and I've been using um, Waitrose because it's just out the back of, of my work here. They're just a bit more expensive than everywhere else but I've used them more than anyone else because of the, the fact that it's never that busy at the end of my working day but I've just tried to go to Tesco's at about half past eleven in the morning and there's just no way there's just no way I can stand. There's about 30 deep this morning. There's about 30 people standing in a long queue. I mean, they're keeping their distance, but I just, even, even that, I don't want to risk myself standing in a queue that, that long. <laughs> I just, I can't do it. I just worry, you know, even people who take precautions there's just too many people if it was like three or four I wouldn't mind and I would do it but when there's about 30 people in a queue I can't do it so I turned away and I've just ordered what I needed online <laughs> because I just thought I can wait I you know I'm not that desperate I do need the paper but I've got a few bits left of paper 
And that's just for printing orders. But um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not one for queues at the best of times, and certainly not at the moment with the situation the way it is. So here's lime cooler, same as always. It's just I needed to restock this, so I think you know you've seen me make lime cooler before. I just wanted to make it again so that I could stock up and make sure that I've got enough. And today I shall be making some more soaps and some more hair conditioner and some shampoo bars, hopefully, because they just keep going. I've just ordered some ingredients the other day because I'm constantly getting messages or emails about when are the shampoo bars back in stock and I can't answer at the moment because ingredients are... You can get them, but it's the, the postage is taking a long time, obviously, due to current conditions. And then we've just had our Easter bank holiday, so that's held everything up even more. But most people, they understand, but some people, they just keep emailing and emailing. And I can't answer because I don't know when things are going to get here. One of the suppliers that I use um, has got a 20-day turnaround. So it's just a case of waiting and there's nothing we can do about it. So I've ordered a lot more of the ingredients that I need so I don't have to run out so quickly and I can get more products made and on the shelves because, you know, sometimes I make small batches, sometimes I make a slightly larger batch, but it's, it's all due to what ingredients I've got in stock here. And then there's just a, a massive delay on everything. It's just the way it is, and it's okay, you know, you just gotta wait. But then I'm putting limits on what people can buy because otherwise you get people come along and they wanna buy all of it, and I can't have that, or they wanna buy five of the same of something, and it's okay in normal circumstances, but not at the moment. Like, it, so, while people aren't being too bad in the shops, we find that they are being quite bad online. <laughs> So I've put limits on things and people can only buy one shampoo bar at the moment rather than three, four, five in one go. I just, I'll just trim that up. Yeah, I just can't satisfy everybody. So it, there has to be some sort of rule where somebody can't come along and buy the lot, you know, because it's not fair. It's not fair to everybody else. So I just have to do what I can do. And people just have to have what they can have and not be over the top and greedy. <laughs> it's very tricky to know what to do, but it has to be fair. You have to be fair. It's like, you know, the supermarkets made a huge mistake when the first, you know, few days where the announcement was coming into place where people started panic buying and they allowed them to, you know, the supermarkets really boo-booed there and they should have put restrictions on things immediately, but they didn't. I think they were very greedy to just take what they took and, you know, their sales must have been going through the roof at a time when people were really struggling to get what they wanted and the whole toilet roll thing and the pasta and the everything. It was like people were just being so greedy and not thinking of anybody else. But the problem was, was I think the supermarkets were to blame because they didn't restrict anyone. So that's just an opinion but they should have done something about it in the first instance rather than took all the money and, you know, screw the rest who didn't manage to get what they wanted. It was just really bad planning, really, really bad operation. And now, of course, everybody's got to stand in queues and get what they need when they, when they need it. So, oh gosh, it'd be so nice when it's just not like that anymore, but it's going to be a while, isn't it? Just talking to my dad this morning and he's a home bird anyway, he doesn't venture out too much. But just the fact that we can't, we were just talking about having a takeaway and how <laughs> we're really missing having a takeaway even though you can't have one makes it ten times worse for you because then you really want one. <laughs> it's like everything's closed around here. He said, oh is the KFC open? I said no, even McDonald's is closed and that's a miracle for the McDonald's in our town. And the only place that's delivering any food is Domino's Pizza. And they are the worst. Excuse me, but they are so, ugh. 
disgusting. Disgusting food. There's a few local independents that have been doing deliveries and things, which is really nice, but it's just not worth it at the moment. I like to cook and I can cook, thank God. So yeah, just the way things is. Just gonna actually antibacterial spray. Then I'm going to trim up the edges of these soaps and then I'm going to make some more soaps. So I'll try and film some. I'm not sure which ones I'm making. I'm going to look at my list and see which ones are needed. And we will go from there today. See what needs to be done. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Bye!